Engines to the rescue! It was winter on the island of Sodo, and a fierce storm was blowing in from the sea. The wind had been so fierce, it had whipped up the waves and caused a big oil tanker to run aground on the docks near the harbour. Thick black oil had seeped out of its tanks, and the sea washed it up onto the beaches, which caused trouble for the animals. The fat controller came to the sheds to discuss the problem. I've just had a call from the harbour master. Lots of seabirds are covered in oil and need to be taken to the animal rescue centre as soon as possible. They can't swim or fly with oil on their wings, and if it isn't washed off quickly, they could die. The engines were worried. They all wanted to help and make sure the animals were safe. I've arranged for trains to bring birds to the rescue centre, but I can't spare all of you. You have your own jobs to attend to first. I'm free, sir, said Henry gamely. The sea has been much too choppy for the fishermen to go out, so the trucks for the flying kipper are available to take the birds. I'll help too, said James. He thought it would make him look important. And me, puffed Thomas. Clarabel has plenty of room to carry the boxes the birds will be in, and Annie can take the workers from the beaches. That's good engines, said the fat controller. Off you go, then. So the three engines set off for the beach, and soon the trains were loaded with boxes full of birds covered in sticky black oil. The engines felt sorry for them and steamed off as fast as they could for the station near the rescue centre where Bertie was waiting to take them away. For the next few days, the three engines and Bertie were kept very busy. Every morning, the beach looked a little cleaner and there were fewer birds for cleaning. At last, the work was over and the engines were able to go back to their normal jobs. But it didn't stop them from wondering how the birds were getting on. One morning, the fat controller came to see the engines again. I need you to help with the birds again, he told them. Oh dear, groaned Henry. What now? The weather's improved, sir, protested James. It's warmer today. And the sun has been peeping out from behind the clouds, agreed Thomas. The fat controller laughed. Ho, 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 that's why I've come to see you. The birds you rescued are all cleaned up and ready to go back into the wild again. I want you three to take them back to the beach for them to be released. The engines were delighted to help and rushed off at once to collect them from the rescue centre. They were kept very busy collecting the birds from Bertie and ferrying them to the shore, but the engines didn't mind. The beaches were clean and the birds were safe. As soon as the boxes were opened, some of the birds flew away. Others went for a swim in the sea. But no matter what they did, they were glad to be free again, and the fat controller's engines were proud to have helped.